Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are picking up where we left off yesterday. We are heading to Kingsville in Anova. We are going to pass through areas like Dias, Middlesex, and we are heading to Lucy in Anova. Our destination is Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the countryside with me. Now, first up, we'd like to say happy birthday to Mr. Kenroy Reed. Mr. Reed, your daughter Ashley, she's asking us to wish you happy birthday. Mr. Reed, we are hoping that you enjoy your day. And we are also hoping, wishing that you live to see many, many more. Now, the lady on your screen, her name is Miss Juliet Reed. Juliet, she was a personal friend. Juliet, she was a tour bus operator. She operated one of those little white Noahs. She transported guests from airport to their hotels and also on excursions. Juliet, she had a medical condition. A friend told us that he last spoke to Juliet yesterday, Thursday, the 9th of September 2021, about some minutes to midday. That friend, he told us that he spoke to Juliet and she complained that she was not feeling well. She told him that she'd be heading to a doctor to do a checkup. Juliet went to the doctor and shortly after, she was pronounced D-E-A-D. Juliet, she was someone who was full of energy, a very hard working person. We'd like to take time out to say condolences to the family and friends of Juliet. May your soul rest in eternal peace. Now, somebody tagged us in a post last night. So we went on social media and we saw a report. We didn't see any details read the report. So we started doing some digging. And here is what we come up with. We went on a lady's page. And that lady, she is the mother and grandmother. For the daughter and child that you are seeing on your screen. She first posted this. My daughter and granddaughter are missing. Anyone with information about their whereabouts, please contact the nearest police station or myself. Keep me in your prayers. Now, she would have made that post Wednesday night. Her next post was made early Thursday morning. She posted this picture and also this. Please God, send them home to us. She then posted these two videos on her page. We want you to listen to the videos and then we are going to give you some details based on what we are learning in this case so far. Here goes. Do John Griffiths, you know I'm dead because you killed me today. Do John Griffiths, you know I'm dead because you killed me today. When you make me have to go identify my granddaughter and my daughter in the morgue. To John Griffiths, you know. To John Griffiths, you come from Jamaica. And you don't have no way to stay. And my daughter and my boyfriend take you in the house. Then Kara come to my yard in Miami. And I take up my hundred dollar gift to you. Because guess what? You didn't have nothing. And they brought you to their home. And you did this to them, do John. Do John. Anybody can say anything on social media and this and that and real dead. Be my guest. I am dead already. Me know I'm dead. Cause you killed me today, do John. Do John, you come on me yard. You killed me. You killed me today. When you kill me, pity and me grab pity. Me are telling the honest truth. You killed me today. When you kill Carla she and Carly, you kill me today when you did this to them. You're in their house, you have Carly by your hip every day. They play with Carly. 
They play with Carly, bring Carly to a store. Me send the money, say, buy Carly ice cream. And you shoot them up like this. Just for them things. And you thought, you thought everybody was dead. But you got it wrong. Do John Griffiths know say me dead? So anything will happen, happen. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I am dead right now. Do John Griffiths from golf. Do John Griffiths. I'm the type of mother that don't play. I don't care. I'm dead already. So you can, you can, you can be my next guest. Kill me. Kill me. No. Here is what we are learning so far. It is reported that a Jamaican couple and their young baby were kidnapped and taken out in Orlando, in Florida. This incident happened yesterday evening, well, last night. The kidnapping may have been done from Wednesday night, but their bodies were discovered Thursday night. It is said that they were taken out by a family friend. That family friend, you're seeing him on the screen right now. He's said to be known as Dujan Griffiths. Now, what we are learning about Dujan is that he is from Grangeville in the parish of Westmoreland. Yes, Dujan is from Grangeville in the parish of Westmoreland. We are also learning that Dujan, he is the nephew of a popular racehorse jockey. Do you know any jockey, any racehorse jockey who had the surname Griffiths? Yes, we are told that Dujan, he is the nephew of that racehorse jockey. The couple, they are originally from Montego Bay in St. James. But our information is that they had migrated to Florida years ago. It is said that Dujan, he took them out in cold blood. The mother and the daughter, they were pronounced D-E-A-D -E when they were found. The father, he was still alive. It is said that the father, he was taken to hospital and he succumbed whilst he was being treated. We have not yet gotten the full names. For the mother, the father, or the child. But the mother, she goes by the name Carla. She's also a YouTuber. On her channel, she uploads daily vlogs. Their child is called Carly. The child was nine months old. We are still gathering some more information. And we will be updating this story in a subsequent video. But we can confirm that Carla, her baby father, and their nine-month-old child, Carly, were taken out. It is suspected that they were taken out by their friend, Dujan Griffiths. Dujan Griffiths, he is from Grangeville in the parish of Westmoreland. Stick around. We are gathering more information and we will be updating this story. Now, if you are here, you are watching our videos, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell, then click all, so that as soon as we have uploaded a new video, you will be notified. And if you have been watching this video so far, and you have not yet hit on the like button, hit on it now. Now, in the final story for today, and this one is very very interesting a guy his name is demar james he's popularly called chip chip 24 years old and he lives at a place named delveland in the little london area in the parish of westmoreland we are told that he lived near to the mazemuir scheme in little london chip chip he was friendly with a lady this lady is in her mid-twenties. She lives in the Landaila community in Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland. It is said that Chip Chip, he was very abusive. And when we say abusive, we are talking about physically abusive. He used to beat this young lady. 
on several occasions she had gone to the Savlamar police station to make report against him. But you know how things go sometimes? Some people claim they can't bother with the courthouse. Chip Chip, him beat the lady, him cut her, him even used machete and beat this lady. On the last occasion that she went to the police station and made a report, the police told her, Young miss, you need to take out a protection order against this man so that if and when him come anywhere near to you again we are able to lock him up take him to the court and beg the judge to remand him because if you don't do that he's gonna take you out so the lady she did what she was told by the police she went to the family court took out a protection order asked the police and the police served the protection order and chip chip they went to court and the judge told him that you demar james you should not be seen within 100 yards of this young lady it means if you are walking on the road and you see her coming you need to go to another street because if you are seen within 100 yards of her the police can lock you up chip chip he decided that him na take heed he was still jealous about this lady him claim that she cannot get no other man but him so on thursday the 9th of september 2021 some minutes after 12 a.m this young lady she had gone somewhere her private business and she was heading home chip chip he left all the way from delvland went to landailo we don't know how long he was there but he knew where the lady had gone so he stayed where he knows that she must walk past him as the lady was coming from wherever she was coming from there was chip chip he came out armed with a machete he attacked the young lady started fighting her chip chip he ended up biting this young lady in fact he bites her on the right side of her face use him fist and start punching this young lady all over her body little did he know that this young lady was tired of his foolishness and she was armed with a knife chip chip because him know him always a beat up this lady and she no resist he thought this was one such night the lady she pulled out the knife and made one push in the left side of chip chips chest you know what is on the left side of our chest she made one push right in chip chips heart chip chip he collapsed and fell on the ground the young lady she then ran off chip chip he was assisted to the Savlamar Hospital, where Chip Chip, he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Are you sorry for him? I am not promoting violence on this channel, but I am promoting self-defense. It better him more than she. No, this lady, she was taken in and questioned by the police. We are not sure what is going to happen next. But for the time being, we are told that this case is being treated as a case of homicide. Not a case of murder. It is being treated as a case of homicide. In law, there are justifiable and non-justifiable homicide. If this lady was armed with a licensed firearm, the police could not charge her for anything because she was attacked this lady was armed with a knife are the police gonna charge her for anything let us wait and see but if this lady is charged for anything i will be the first to contribute to her defense liar bill because for too long you hear the first case that I just carry? That guy, 
he took out mother, father, child. For too long, women are being attacked by some waste boys. It's time ladies start defending themselves. And Chip Chip, he had it coming. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. <laughs>